When I think of a good funnel, I always think of Amen Gadget. The psychology, the marketing, the design, the copywriting, everything is perfectly crafted. And I mean, the numbers speak for themselves. How much have you done in info products? Close to 100 million. And recently, I stumbled across one of his funnels and I thought, is it possible to build something similar in Go High Level? And well, let me show you what I created and how I built it. Let's go. Let me show you how I created this in Go Ahead Level. So the first thing I created was this sticky header that when you scroll down, it stays on the top. I think it's brilliant because you can book your spot from any point in the funnel. So how I built this is I created a three row column and there's three elements. The first one is a photo, which is the logo. Second one is a text and the third one is a button. How I achieved this like very narrow slim look is by removing all the margins and padding on every section. So you'll see like on the green section, there's no padding, no borders, nothing. On the column section, there's zero as well on top and bottom. For the button, what I wanted to show you is when you hover it animates that you can just do with an animation. So you can do hover animation elevate and that's just gonna elevate when you hover on the button. So it just makes the experience a little bit better. And then how I did the button is I added a border, a solid border of the color that I wanted, which was orange and then no color background. So you'll see like here it's transparent. That's because we wanted it to be transparent and just a border outline to be orange. So that's how I created that first section, which I think looks really clean looks very similar to Eman's as well now the next thing that I built out was the hero section which is where you're looking at right now so let me show you how I built this so here we have just a simple text a simple headline and then a sub headline now this right here is just text but you might be wondering okay but how did you build it so it looks kind of like a cool button just like Eman's right here and it's actually text so if you look at it I scroll down there's padding on top and bottom to make it bigger and if you notice I also have some background color as well so I can change it so you see what it looks like but that's what it's going to give that that look as well as the border so if you go to advanced I have a full border solid 1px and I have a border color so if I zoom in you'll see that there's a little border of gray around it just like Iman so if I zoom in here you'll see it right there now to add that check mark it's just an icon so if I go here there's a check circle in icon and then you can change the color down here I wanted it to match the text of course so it's orange now for this section I added a background just like Iman's very similar one and as you scroll down it turns into black and so how I did this is just by changing the background of the section to a photo. So if I go here, I'll show you what this background is. It's this one right here. So this is the background. And as you notice, it fades into a solid black. And that's how you can achieve that look where if you scroll down, it turns into black and then it's like a seamless integration into the next section. Up next, we just have a quick video. I literally screen recorded the video of the funnel. So it looks very similar. And it's just a video with a border around it with the orange theme. As you notice, like on mine looks very similar to Eman's and that's because if you click here go to advanced you'll notice that there's a solid border and it's orange that's it okay so the next section I wanted to build out is this schedule that he has here kind of breaking down what's going to happen in this event day one day two day three day four and so on and there's like a really cool background as well like a white marble type of background that we recreated as well I'll show you what mine looks like and I think it looks pretty similar as well so we have the schedule up here headline and then we have each section right here so I'll show you how I built this so this is a one column row there is a headline up here as well as just text and so what this looks like is we have an icon so that's where this little icon is coming from and then I made it orange as well to match day one and then day two is just a black text so this is bolded this is not and that's so you can have two colors in the same line that are different now to get this cool marble effect it is just a background that I added so instead of having like a color background I added a photo what this photo looks like is this one right here and so it's just like a white marble now if you're curious where I'm finding these backgrounds from is from this website called free pick and they're free they also have this little sign here you have to pay but for the most part you can find like pretty decent backgrounds in free pick that are free okay so as you're building the sections one of the tips that I can give you is cloning the section it makes it way easier so here I just cloned it and then you can just change the text to something else day three whatever it is like you can just change it very quickly that's the easiest fastest way to build this section I scroll down we have this section which is pretty similar to Eman's so we have a photo on this side a cool animation that I added as 
as well as the highlighted text as well. So the stuff that we want to make sure nobody misses when they're going through your funnel. So how do we create this in GoHead level? So the first thing that we're going to do is create a section with two columns side by side. So you'll see them right here. On this section, we're going to have a photo. This photo you'll notice has rounded edges. If I go to advanced, you can just change the radius to have rounded corners. Now here we just have a clean headline, some copy like text down here. And then we have these two sections that are the highlighted stuff. So how do we create this effects in GoHead level? So the first effect I'm going to show you is the highlighted text. So for that, we're going to use our Notion doc, which is where we keep all of our effects for GoHead level websites and funnels. I'm going to show you how we did this. So if you already have our Notion doc, just click on the Notion doc and go to tutorial 1.14, how to highlight a word or phrase on a text. If you don't have it, I'll link it in the bio. You can check it out. But if I scroll down, we're going to have to copy this piece of code. I'm going to go back to my website and I'm going to go here to custom CSS. In your case, you won't have any code, so it'll just be empty. And I'm just going to paste this code right here. Now, what do you have to keep in mind is this word right here, the highlight dash word dash effect. That's going to be the tag that we're going to use for that section. So copy paste this piece of code hit save. So let's say you wanted to use this one right here and we go to advanced. I'm going to enter a custom class, paste this right here. And you notice nothing changed. And that's because we have to do another thing before we change it. So let's say I wanted to highlight this right here. You want to make sure that this is heading one. And then you also want to make sure that this is bolded. So right now for me, this whole thing is bolded. So I can just remove the bold and then just highlight whatever I want to have it highlighted. So just like that. Now, if you wanted to change the color of the highlight, the easiest way to do this is to just find the hex code that you're looking for. So this and you have this orange that I want to use throughout the funnel. So I could just click on the color update and we're not going to update it. We're just going to copy paste this exact hex code. So once you have the hex code, we go back to the custom CSS and where it says the background color, we're just going to replace that color. We're going to paste a new color and you'll notice that it's going to change. Now here, it doesn't make any sense just because it's orange on orange. So I'm going to remove that, but I just wanted to show you how you can create that in go ahead level. So as you scroll down, you'll notice that Eman Gadget uses it across his funnel and that's exactly how I created it on mine as well. Now, the second effect that I wanted to show you in this section is you notice when I hover on this photo, it zooms in. So those subtle details are going to make a big difference in your funnel. So I'm going to show you how I did this. So on our Notion doc, go to tutorial 1.1. If you already have it, if not, check it out. And if I scroll down, you'll notice that there's this piece of code that we're going to copy paste. I'm going to go back to my go ahead level editor. I'm going to go to custom CSS, add a new line of code, and then it's going to say image style one. So this is going to be the new tag that we're going to copy paste. And if I click on this photo, I go to a advanced, I paste the tag in the custom class section, image style one, hit enter, and that's just going to animate the photo. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. So now if I hover on the photo, it zooms in and that's it. Now, if I keep scrolling down on Eman's funnel, you notice it's quite long. So I'm going to keep going, but I'm going to show you a section that I recreated as well, which is the pricing. So when you come to the bottom, you want people to join the funnel. Either you have a 97 plan, 297. So I'm going to show you what I create in go ahead level. So if I scroll down to hours, I'll scroll down and we have join the five day challenge and we have two pricing models. We have a 97 plan. We have a 297 plan, which close when you check it out. The reason I wanted to add this cool effect is a lot of times you want to push people to the higher plan. So you can just add a small nudge, which is this cool effect that glows so people can check it out. You're driving kind of attention to this pricing. And so people can check out what's included and hopefully sign up to the more expensive plan. For this, let's go back to our Notion doc. And this is going to be in the intermediate tutorials. And this is going to be effect 2.7, how to add a moving greeting glow effect. So for step one, I'm just going to copy paste this tag right here glow gradient child i'm gonna go back to go ahead level i'm gonna click on the purple section which is holding everything this is the child section so i'm gonna go to advanced scroll down custom class glow gradient child hit enter and i'm gonna hit save i'm also gonna need another tag so let's go back to my notion doc scroll down and i'm gonna copy paste this tag right here so for the parent, what this is going to be is the stuff that is holding the cards. So the element outside the card. So this is going to be the blue section. I'm going to go to advanced, scroll down, custom class, and I'm going to paste this right here. And the final step is just adding the custom CSS to my website. So I'm going to copy paste this whole piece of code. It's going to be a longer one. And I'm going to copy paste this and add it to my website. So let's go back to go high level. I'm going to go to custom CSS add a new line and paste this entire piece of code and I'm going to hit save. And so let me show you what that looks like. If I hover on the element, now you'll see the effect and it works. Now it has a different color and I'm going to show you how you can change the color in the code. So let's go back and I'm going to click here and I'm going to check out which color is this orange that I'm going to use right here. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to hit update and I'm just going to copy paste this hex code. I'm going to hit cancel because I don't want to change the color. I just wanted to find out the hex code. So I'm going to go to my custom CSS, scroll down and you'll see this 
this hex code right here. So this is going to be the hex code that we're going to be replacing. There we go. And I'm going to hit save and you'll notice now the hex code changed the effect. It changed the color and this is what it looks like. Now, if I give this a refresh, I'll show you what the preview version looks like. And there we go. It looks really clean. Now it matches the website, matches the buttons, the whole orange vibe that we have going on with the website. It looks awesome. But there it is. That's how I built this insane funnel. And I think it looks really similar to Ime Gadget's funnel. And just by adding some custom effects, we can make this funnel look really awesome all inside of Go Ahead Level. And if you want to Add custom effects just like this ones to your funnels, your websites, and go high level. Check our Notion doc, which is the first link in bio.